Rolling, rolling, rolling. We rolling? This is good, okay. We're gonna do a real quick one today because uh, I'll be honest, I'm a bit hungover. Pick up the energy. Okay. I wanna to talk to you about this little tiny mount I purchased recently on the jungle, in the jungle, on Amazon. And it's something I thought I needed for a long time and I was right about it because on a wedding day, on a commercial day, I got a shotgun mic with the SC11 by Rode. It's a dual cable, allows you to run two audio channels into one receiving channel of audio. In this case, it's the C70. So we've got the DJI mics. I wanna run both in case I wanna mic up someone doing a first look or someone doing a speech at a podium. The problem is you got one, one little cold shoe, two things you need to mount to it, one being the microphone, the other being the receiver for the DJI mic. The camera comes with a top handle, gets screwed in with this little guy right here. And that works great, but then you're still just limited to one cold shoe at the top here, so not ideal. There is a mount you can put on the side that comes with it to uh, mount a shotgun mic. It gets in the way of all the controls of this microphone uh, by clamping down on top of it, so it kind of defeats the purpose. It's also way too far out. And the one thing I like about shooting handheld, as I do for most weddings and commercial projects, is how low key I can be. It allows me to get more candid footage. Uh, people don't notice me as much. I'm just able to get better visuals for my clients and my couples that way when I'm not someone that people are paying attention to. And the bigger your rig, you know, you got like a big, this microphone stabbing me. Where was I? Big rigs. I want to keep things small. This is not small. This is huge. Don't care for it. So back to the point of the video. I bought a cold shoe dual mount. Uh, this one's made of aluminum. Uh, it's fully CNC'd from one solid piece of metal, the top bit here, and it came with a, a screw plate to be able to attach it to the cold shoe of your camera. Bada boom, just like that. The key benefits of this one versus other ones on the market that I'll talk about right now are the fact that it has these stoppers in place. So you slide a thing in and it's not gonna slide all the way through. It's gonna have a stopper. It's not gonna be able to fall out to the top. It goes in, it stays, right? Great benefit, love that. Another benefit to this one is it has a cable trough running along the side of both sides here, which is fantastic. Allows you to hide the cables a bit better. Get just a better uh, low profile and neat and tidy setup on your camera. Whatever you're shooting with, it could be a C70, it could be a whatever camera you're using. I need water, I need coffee. Out of the box, I thought it was great. One of the downsides is it screws from the bottom, which is kind of interesting. I don't love how twisty it is on top once you get it tightened. It comes with an Allen key, which I guess is convenient if you wanna like tighten it, but I'm not the kind of guy to carry an Allen key with me, even though it's on my keychain all the time. I don't wanna have to bust out an Allen key every time I wanna do that. So, looking at what I had in my, my closet, I did some hillbilly engineering, and I came up with a solution that I think makes the most sense for this product in particular. What I did first was remove, using the Allen key, the bottom screw bit, which is great. There's always a use for these things. And then I took the C70 handle, which I'm probably never gonna use, let's be honest, and uh, removed this, the top screw that actually affixes into the C70. The good thing about the C70, and maybe this is why it makes it specific for this camera, is that it has a quarter eight, quarter 20, eighth inch, I don't know. It has a screw mount in, in the cold shoe itself. What I ended up doing at the washer, slam it on the bottom with the grippy side down, like so put that on top, and then using the screw plate from the C70 handle, I can create a nice tight lock into there where it doesn't jiggle left and right. It's securely on there, it fits perfectly. I'm really happy with this. And then you're able to just mount the things as you usually would. Uh, the one caveat to this setup is the fact that your DJI mount, um, the outputs and the monitoring are on the left side, so you need to mount it closest to the rig um, otherwise, the center screw is kind of blocking it. But for me, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna have these things on 90% of the day anyway. And uh, yeah, it just kind of worked well. So again, I'm barely here, but I need to get a video out. And uh, I really appreciate all the new subscribers to the channel. I think it's great. I wanna help you guys. I wanna learn more from this community. I wanna you know, be a part of it, have a voice, say a few things, share what I've learned, I guess, in the eight, nine years of doing this professionally. So if I can help, I'll help. And if you have ideas for me, I'd love to hear them as well. That's what the rig looks like. That's the that's the low profile nature of what this rig is. I'll do some close-ups. So it won't just be this angle so you can get a better idea, but you've seen that already. You've watched the video to this point. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, doing all the things. Jose, do you have any thoughts? Do you have any feelings? Anything you want to get out? 
I, I can't wait to, to see you in the next one. We'll see you next week. One a week, let's go, one a week. Not hard, it's not hard. Is that your belly? That's your belly. Yeah, that's your belly, all right. Good boy.